the score is the only thing I know. Ay, when it's black rain, then you know it's gon' pour. Huh? Running up the score is the only thing I know. Huh? If I need a comeback, I'm clutching a four. And I'm getting sticky with the stick work too. Ay, it's already over if I kick first. Ooh, huh? Top 100, they can get work too. Ay, first in the world, and it's got me in a mood. All right, man, so we're back at it uh, with Riggs. Uh, check this out. The um, last person I lost to is Reckless Ron. Um, so if you look at it, Ron has a very, very impressive record. Um, let's see, what is his win percentage? So I got my win percentage calculator out. 595 wins and 129 losses. So he has a win percentage of 82%. So meaning he's winning 82% of his games. Now, if you look at my record, you might be like, okay, he has 600 wins, 130 losses. That's way more impressive than Black Rangers record. If you do my win percentage, I am winning 143 and 37. I'm winning 79% of my games. So he's only winning 3% more of his games, but I'm not trying to compare myself to him. You know what I'm saying? What I'm trying to show you guys is, um, I, I did scheme over team where I played with every different team, like random teams. And he's pretty much done the same on his side as well. You know what I'm saying? There's some teams that he's played more of than the others. Like, what's that, 250 games with the Packers. Um, like 100 games with the Panthers. Like 100 games with the Raiders. Ravens. But if you look, I pretty much play with every single team. I five losses with the Ravens, four with the Panthers. I have three losses with the Lions. You know what I'm saying? That's three of my losses right there. Uh, four and two with the Jets. Three and two with the Dolphins. Four and two with the Cowboys. Nine and three with the Chiefs. Um, but what I'm saying is if I was to like do what I'm doing now and pick like three or four different teams and just straight play with them, my record would be crazy. Um, I don't think people understand that uh, Madden 20, my record was 1,400 wins and 100 losses. And I played the majority of the games with the Chiefs. Um, Man 21, I think I had a record of 800 wins and 100 losses. I didn't grind rigs as much, but 800 wins, 100 losses. And um, I played with random teams up until I was like, all right, I'm going to pick me a team. And I started going to the Texans uh, towards the end of Madden. 800 wins, 100 losses. And then Man 22 this year. I haven't really started my grind with one team yet. You know what I'm saying? So what I try to do is I try not to get like one of the OP teams. Like man, 20, I would just get them. I would just, I would just get myself on the scene. You know what I'm saying? I was just trying to get noticed. Um, got noticed, and people were like, you know what, man? You, th this guy can only play with the Chiefs. Um, as you guys see, loss here, loss here. But other than that, disconnection loss. But other than that, the straight wins. Um, but man, 20 people like, man, this guy can't really play. He can only play with the Chiefs. Da 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 da. So that's where I started scheme over team at. I was like, what? Y'all serious? Like, y'all really think I can only play with the Chiefs? You know what I'm saying? So I start scheme over team back in man 20. And it was like, all right, this guy is serious. You know what I'm saying? This guy can definitely play. Um, so then man 20 uh won. I, I, I try to start off every single Madden being number one in the world. Why? Because I like that attention for the beginning of Madden. And it's not for me. It's for you guys. You know what I'm saying? What happens at the beginning of every single year? People get on. They don't really know what kind of Madden it is. They unsure of what scheme they're going to run. They're just out there just playing Madden. So what people do, they look up on YouTube Hmm, I want to put like the number one guy in the world. What is the number one guy in the world running right now? So, at the very beginning of Madden, the first two, three, four hundred games, I grind rigs. Because when they look up the number one player in the world, what is he running? They're going to come to my page. You know what I'm saying? And then once everybody get a feel for like, all right, you know what I'm saying? 
Rain does this shit every single year. Like Rain comes out and he's number one in the world every single year. I right, this guy's serious. This guy can definitely play. You know what I'm saying? It's what gets me is um at the very beginning of Madden, it's about games played, but it's also about record at the very beginning of, of, of Madden. You know what I'm saying? But as the year go on, it's like this is this is my second account, by the way. My first account was Black Rain 4 or 5. Uh, I think my record on there is like 300 and something wins and like 28 losses or something. Like that's when I was really grinding and taking it serious. I was number one on the other account. But um, once it starts getting deeper in the season and guys start figuring it out, it's not about the wins. It's just about how many games played. Then they're like, oh, shit, let me just, just start playing the game all day. You know what I'm saying? For an example, for an example, they got me ranked... Uh, 9,343 in the world right now. Just for an example, I'm, I'm going to show you guys. This is me right here. 9,343 in the world with a record of 143 and 37. So, this guy right here above me, actually, we're all tied. Me and him are tied. Me and him are tied. Look at his record. 189 and 165. How in the hell should we be tied with the same rank if you look at my record? There's no way. There's everybody that I'm showing you right now have at least 100 losses. Everybody got at least triple digit losses. That And they're ahead of me on the ranking board. And I'm just curious as to how. You know what I'm saying? He has seven more wins than me. But he has what? Like 25 more losses than me. But he's ranked higher than me. Or lower than me in this case. So that's why I just don't. That's why the very beginning of Madden. I grind the leaderboard. And I show people okay. I can be number one in the world. If I just sat here and just played the game non-stop all day. And just played unlimited amount of games. But I don't like to do that. Because the ranking in the leaderboard is pointless to show people. Because like. If they were to go to the board right now and they see this guy right here, number one in the world. He's number one on Xbox, but look at his record. So let's look at his win percentage real quick. So, 1,696 and how many losses? 1,385. Excuse me, 1,385. He has 3,081 games played. He has sat here and played... 3,100 games. No disrespect to him. I, I, I don't know what he does in his in his life or if he has any spare time. But he's played 3,100 games. He has a win percentage of 55. So when he load into a game, it's damn near 50-50 if he's going to win that game. Like, no matter who he's playing against, it's 50-50. Like, hmm. I really don't know if this guy's going to win the game. And this is who's number one in the world. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you can tell the leaderboard doesn't matter. Then you might look at this guy and be like, this guy is amazing. 1,700 wins, 200 losses, 35 win streak, but he's glitching. You can tell because if you look at the points for and points against, he's giving up more points than he's scoring. Meaning... When somebody goes up like 7-0 on him or 3-0 on him and he knows he can't score or he can stop, he glitched the game. So I just want you guys to understand how this leaderboard works. You know what I'm saying? I really want you guys to understand that. Um, now, United EY, he was in my tournament. He's in the tournaments. Uh, he lost to Luke, but this might be a real record. I want to say this is a real record. Um, I know for a fact Sauce Youngster's record right here is real. This is a very impressive record as well. But I've yet to see somebody with a better record than mine from Madden 20. 1,400 wins, 100 losses. The best record that I've seen so far in rigs. I don't know about Mutt, but in rigs. Like, look at this guy. He's ranked 39 in the world. He wins 1,100 games. He lost 1,000 games. So I just want you guys to understand. I used to get, this, I used to get quest, uh, questions every single day up under my videos when I went from Man 20 to Man 21. 
And like all through Madden 20, if you came and watched my videos, I was number one in the world. When we transitioned to Madden 21, I was number one in the world for about a month or like a month, month and a half. And then I stopped caring about the rigs grind because I became more of a content creator. Like I wanted to like, like start playing with different teams. I wanted to start, I was doing like, man, if you was here for Madden 21, I was doing like Marquis Good when they running back, Tyreek Hill at running back. I was doing stuff like that. And um, I started getting some hatred down below in the comment section. Damn, we all thought this guy was good back in Madden 20. He, he's not even number one in the world no more. And it's people that don't understand the leaderboard. They don't understand that you got to really sit here all day and play the game all day to get as many games played as possible for you to be ranked top of the leaderboard. And I just don't have that time. Like, when I play these games, I want y'all to see every game I play. So, every game I play, it has to be edited. It has to be synced up. I have to make a thumbnail for it. I got to post it. I don't have enough YouTube channels to post all these damn games. You know what I'm saying? So, that's why I'm not number one on the leaderboard no more. But when Madden 23 comes out, guess what I'll do once again? I will grind rigs. I'll be number one in the world until I don't want to be number one in the world no more. It's as simple as that. You know what I'm saying? And then, like, it gets hard to play rigs sometimes because you're only going to run into the Packers. You know what I'm saying? Um, back in Madden 20, when I was 1,400 and 100, um, 1,400 wins, 100 losses, I mainly played with the Chiefs. And that was back in the era of when everybody was on bar with Zeke. And, and people get the Browns and on ball with Nick Chubb. And then that that kind of went away. So then people was like, you know what? We're going to go with Lamar Jackson. That's when they upgraded Lamar Jackson's overall and everything. And everybody was running with Lamar. Um, the QB blast out of the Panthers playbook and stuff like that. And uh, that went away while I stuck with the Chiefs. But everybody was, everybody, you know what I'm saying, had that different kind of play style back in Madden 20. Um, like like the top guys, you had, uh, man, you had Timmy Two-Turn. You had uh, Form had his own play style. I'm just so confused on how. I'm just so confused on how Marquise Brown can't cook Stokes. Um, yeah, Timmy Two Turn, you have Form, you had Tatted 49er. Everybody ran different stuff. Me, now it's like everybody is running the same exact stuff. And it's hard to like. I'm not saying it's hard to to. It's just hard to differentiate yourself. Like even if you even if you're becoming a YouTuber, you want to try to run different things in different people. So he's aligning by speed, I see. He's aligning by speed, I see. Which is smart. Um but nowadays it's tough. If you want to be a YouTuber, you got to like try to find something different about yourself and like Honestly, it's like almost every lane is taken up right now. It's like everybody's doing something different in, in the Madden YouTube. So to be different, what do I really want to run? To be different, you got to really be different. To be different, you got to really be different out here. I had Marquise Brown probably open for a touchdown if I just throw that post. You just got to be different out here. Like one, one, uh, one lane that's like not heavily factuated right now is uh, Chabata Mitch. That boy, that boy is different. He's different. He is in a lane of his own right now. 
nobody's doing like the heavy, heavy trash talk. Like he's into like the the hood trash talk. He'll get on there on stream and cuss you, slap out. <laughs> and that, and that's different. That's different. That's just not the that just not the type of vibe or perspective I want to give off. And there's nothing wrong with his uh his play style. There's nothing wrong with it. It's like it's kind of like Eli Max. Uh Eli Mac is like it's different. It's like I don't really know how to explain it. What is he? Is this cover three? Alright, that's a die. And we didn't get our feet down, of course, because it's Huntley in the game. And I threw that pass like 10 years ago. But Eli Max, like, Eli Max is different too. But he, it's, it, it's all about what draws the subs in. It's all about what draws the attention of different uh, crowds. You know what I'm saying? So, whatever works, works. You know what I'm saying? But there's just some people that just would rather not um, do it the way they're doing it. I think this is cover four. Should have Marquise Brown. This low ball right here. Nice. Perfect. I bet you that was cover four. Nope. Cover three, Scott, actually. Okay. But I had a question for y'all today, man. I had a question for y'all. Um, so when you go out to eat, or, yeah, when you go out to eat to a restaurant, and you know you're supposed to tip. How what, what percent do y'all tip? And do y'all think tipping is mandatory? So I'm gonna be honest with you. When I was like up until like 21, I used to never tip. And if I did, it wasn't the right percent. I think you're supposed to tip like 15 percent. But I used to never tip because I was always like I paid for my food. That's it. Like, what? Why do I gotta give a tip? What is extra for? And up until I met my girlfriend, she worked in like the the um, what do you call it? I don't know what it, how to explain it, but she works in the food industry and what like that, the the bar industry, the drinks and stuff. And she works on tips. Like, if you see like their hourly pay. It ain't, it ain't shit. Their hourly pay ain't shit, and they get paid pretty much off of tips. So, um, and I used to explain to her, she used to like, she used to come home like, yo, I had a shitty night, um, didn't really make much. There was shitty tippers. And I had explained, and she was like, and she used to get mad when somebody didn't tip. And I used to be like, yo, check this out. Tip is not mandatory. If the tip was mandatory, it would be mandatory. It would be gratuity. You know, so that's that's what now when they when they bring you back your bill and it says, yep, we already added 20% gratuity on already on to it, then that's mandatory. That's what you pay. You know what I'm saying? But when you get your bill, the tip is not mandatory. And she's telling me, yes, tip is. I'm like, nigga, the tip is not mandatory. You know what I'm saying? You the tip is based on what I feel like tipping you. Oh, we can't get there. Oh, we can't get there. But I know tip's supposed to be like 15%. And you know what I'm saying? It's pretty much you're supposed to pretty much tip based on how your server the, the job the server did for you. That's pretty much what you tip, you know what I'm saying? Now if, if I got shitty service, I had to ask you three or four times. Can I get a refill on water? Um, stuff like that, then you don't deserve the 15% the tip. You know what I'm saying? Now, if you bring the food out and the food's trash, I understand that's not your fault. You didn't cook the food. That's the kitchen's fault. You know what I'm saying? Um, but if you just had shitty service overall, I had to keep on asking you to come here for a second. Uh, you got my order wrong or something like that, then you feel me? Now I understand. You know what I'm saying? You ain't supposed to get this 15%. Um, bro, that was the that was the craziest dot I've ever seen. Like, and I knew he was gonna throw the ball because he's a risky type of like I knew. 
I knew he was throwing the ball. I just knew it. I just knew he was going to throw that pass. That shit just pissed me off that he really just threw that. And, like, none of my guys had enough awareness to turn around to try to pick that off. That's what's crazy about that. Nobody was like, oh, shit. You know what I'm saying? You know how they usually had the eyes in the back of their head? Nobody was like, oh, the ball's coming. Let me turn around and just catch it. But let that, bro, let that would have been me throwing that pass on the Packers. Everybody would have turned around. Everybody would have tried to pick that pass off. So who's on Dover, Nate? Minus two speed, plus one speed. Dover, Nate got plus one speed. Um, my question to you guys. There's no way Lamar Jackson can get away from fucking Lowry. Even after he escaped, there's no way Lowry should be that close. Like, he, he's not 98 speed. Like, I heard on uh, Next Gen, I heard on Next Gen, Lamar Jackson is just the fucking absolute truth. Time out. I heard Lamar Jackson is the truth. Like, you got to put three spies out there for him and all type of shit. I gotta see what's up with that. I really do gotta see what's up with that. Should have Marquise Brown on this post. It's so crazy that, it's so crazy that he can run that post towards the field, but the other post but this post on the left side, he can't run. That shit kind of gives me a headache. Bro. I mean, is he rushing? What is he? What is he? I'm not even sure what he's in, honestly, at this point. So my question to y'all. So if you're going to tip, right? You're going to tip. You Do you tip the bartender? You know what I'm saying? At the bar, you get drinks or whatnot. Do you tip your bartender? If that question is yes, then my next question is, because all he's, all the bartender is doing is making you a drink. So my question is, do you tip the fast food worker at McDonald's. You know what I'm saying? When they hand your food out the window, do you tip? When they tell you what your price is at McDonald's, you know what I'm saying? Uh, $13.75, pull up to the second window, please. Do you tip? And I'm just curious because it's pretty much the same thing. It's pretty much the same. Well, eh. The bartender's actually making you a drink, but the person at the window is not. They're just handing you your food and taking your order and whatnot, but I thought that you would like want to tip the cook. You know what I'm saying? The cook is the one that actually made your food. Yeah, the service. Yes, good defense. Yeah, um, the service of the person, you know what I'm saying, who is servicing your table is pretty much who you're supposed to be tipping, but like all you did was bring my food out here, pour me water, and you feel me? That's that's it. <laughs> you feel me? That's it. But at the same time, I understand why you tip. Um, and I do know like the better you tip the better service you should get, like, or, you know what I'm saying, maybe if, like, you have a certain bartender that you go to, every time they see you, they're going to give you good service, or they're going to give you the best service every time they see you. So I do understand that. I do understand that, so. Um, I'm not saying there's something wrong with tipping, because. Oh, my God. There's nothing wrong with tipping at all, but I'm just curious who tips and who doesn't tip and why. 
why don't you tip? Because I was always, I was always a person like, man, listen, tipping ain't mandatory. If tip was mandatory, then they would put it, they would put it on there as mandatory. You feel me? I was always that type of guy. Thank you, Chuck Clark. Thank you, thank you, Chuck Clark. I put a purple over there for the first time in forever. I put a purple over there. Instead of a cloud, put a purple over there. Like for an example, like this is what I mean. Like when I go to the bar, like no, nah, not even a bar. Like, how do I explain this? Like when I go to the club, this is what I never understood though. Like if I it, like if you wanted a tip, why not go ahead and add the tip into it already? Or not even add a tip into it, why not just charge extra? Like, for an example, a bottle of alcohol at the club be like a bottle of alcohol at the club be like 300. A bottle of alcohol at the club, like 300. Why not, if you want to tip on that bottle, why not charge 350 for it? And then if the people do decide to tip, you're getting extra. You feel me? <laughs> you're getting extra. You are just go ahead and overcharge for it. Oh, I got my crosser open if I just be patient. Be patient, Rain. Where's Jair at? Oh, Jair's in the slot. Ooh, we threw it. We tried it. Oh, I thought they were going to give me the animation. You know what I'm saying? If something, if you're expecting tip, why not just go ahead and like overcharge for it? You know what I'm saying? Go ahead and overcharge. But I guess people don't look at it that way. I guess people don't look at it that way. Oh, we like that. We like that. We like that. We like that. Boy, got a purple over there. <laughs> Boy, the rage quit. Boy said, what in the... How do we get beat? Slid on you. Slid on you. Uh Havoc was 389 and 235. Um I'm scoring 31 points a game, giving up 15. I'm winning by an average of 16 points a game. I like that. Uh Ravens on Ravens. I'm a big fan of playing like mirror matches. I'm a big fan of it because like we got the same team. Now it's all about, can you use your team the same way I can use the team? Or can you use the team better? I am a big fan of mirror matches. I, you know what I'm saying? I could, oh, we got the same team. That's not fair. How is it not fair? That's the, you got the same team. If you want to run around with Lamar and I can't stop it, then now I'm going to try to run around with Lamar and see if you can stop it. You feel me? There's no excuse as to, oh, you know what I'm saying? If I had this team, I had that team. No, we got the same exact team. I'm a big fan of mirror matches. I heard, this is the excuse I hear about mirror matches. Um, I don't want to see the same players on the field. What? Another excuse I hear is, um, it's boring. Nigga, what? That's the same team. How's it bore? That was a terrible read. Ah, Lamar Jackson fast as hell. People, I don't, I don't want to see Ravens on Ravens or Chiefs on Chiefs. Nigga, what? It just sounds like to me you can't stop the team that you're getting. You know what I'm saying? It's cheesy playing same team. 
how? I never understood. I never understood people like that. I got the, I got the Ravens. You got the Ravens. Now it's all about scheme. Team is already out of it. We got the same team. Now it's all about scheme. Can I stop your scheme? Can you stop my scheme? No excuses. You know what I'm saying? I ain't mad. I ain't about to play the same team, man. It's just cheesy. There's a reason you pick a certain team. Whether you're from there or maybe you like the team or you like the scheme or whatnot. But there's a reason you pick a certain team. I picked the Ravens. I like fast DBs that can play man to man. I like fast receivers. I don't care about Lamar being fast at quarterback, honestly. Um, I just like fast DBs so I can play man to man. And I like fast receivers. So if somebody's manning me up, I won't get manned up. Simple as that, you know what I'm saying? I know man to man is hard to stop. So when I'm playing with a team, I'm going to get a team that can play man-to-man -man good and a team that can get over the man-to-man. -man. And you know what I'm saying? My reason for picking a team is probably different than your reason. You know what I'm saying? You might be like, you might be like, shit, I'm getting the Ravens because Lamar Jackson is just unstoppable and 97 speed at receiver. And I'll be like, cool. You know what I'm saying? Now, let's just see if your scheme is better than my scheme with the same team. But I had people tell me the reason they won't join the tournament, that was quick. We didn't even get to pass the ball. I'm not decline. I'm, he just asked me for a friendly quit after I'm up 14 to zero. For what? Why would I friendly quit you and I'm winning 14 to zero? And it, bro, come on. But I had people tell me, I'm not gonna join the tournament until you handicap it. And I'm like, what do you mean? I don't want to see him play Packers on Packers. This is a money tournament. So you, it's going to be good on good. It's going to be best on best. If you think the Packers are the best team, and I think the Packers are the best team to win me $200, I'm playing with the Packers. You know what I'm saying? People are not going to get in here and be like, shit, I'm just trying to have a friendly game. Man, people is in here to try to win some money. Now, the people that is in here for a friendly game, you know what I'm saying? They're probably just trying to, get, trying to match themselves with competition and just seeing if they can compete, you know what I'm saying? But people people going to get their best team to give them the chance, the best chance of winning. And if it's Packers and the other dude think it's the Packers and they play Packers on Packers, it's a mirror match and you just got to deal with it. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know why people think that great lob. Is Westry not 94 speed? Um, I don't know why people think that once I handicap team, it's going to be any, any different. Let's say I say no Packers, no Chiefs, no Bucks, no Ravens. No Packers, no Chiefs, no Bucks, no Ravens. Those are pretty much the top teams. So who do you think people going to go get? The Cardinals and the Panthers. It's going to be Cardinals on Cardinals, Panthers on Panthers. Um, I don't really don't know who else. Um, man, no no Packers, no Bucks, no Chiefs, no Ravens. Jeez, bro. That's like, now it's a lot of teams you can get for real, though. I might go Giants or Jets, honestly. But no, I mean, yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot of teams. Now you can go, damn, yeah. You can go, oh my Lord. You can go Bills. I mean, people are probably going to go uh, the Slinger quarterbacks now. You can go Bills. You can go Cardinals. You can go Seahawks. Panthers. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. That might be a good, but then I just don't like handicapping. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to handicap because if I want these tournaments to be successful, then people got to. 
I don't know. I just got to try to make it fair for everybody. Not everybody likes to play against the Packers and whatnot, but I mean, sometimes you just got to deal with it. Oh, I thought we were going to build a big body in front of Marcus Peters right there. Thought we were going to build a big body homes right there. Definitely could not. See, he got the Ravens for a reason, too. What is he running? Imano, Imano. He's running man to man, too. That is so disappointing. Nobody is on the running back. 62, I'm not kicking no fucking field goal. Nobody was on the running back right there, but I put a stop route and that guy who was going to tight end pretty much guarded both of those routes. That sucked. Ooh, this is a laser. Ooh, this is a laser. Ooh, I already knew. I could look at the defense and tell that was a laser. It was crazy. I tried to no look at like I really was not even staring at it as if he was gonna see me. I could have threw it again too. I be forgetting I got Lamar and I got escape artists half the time. Why do I think this is cover two? Why is this screaming out cover two to me? It's not. It's straight man to man. There's no way Lamar Jackson can't get out of the pocket. This motherfucker's 96 speed, y'all. There's DBs that's not 96 speed. But he's getting tackled by a defensive lineman? Stop it. Under pressure and accurate. They said on uh, Next Gen, though, Lamar Jackson, like, God. They said, you get the Ravens on next gen, it's, he's Jesus himself. I think this is zone. Oh yeah, turf down, turf down, turf down. Huntley, turf down, turf down, turf down, turf down, turf down, turf down, turf down. I ain't watched Civil in a while, but he used to kill that. Okay, gun empty. Hey, you scoot back off of Hollywood. Well, he's just going to throw it. He ain't even going to lob it or nothing. All right. <laughs> that's what I be like saying. Like, that's what I be saying. Hollywood is what? 97 speed. Avery is 93 speed. And Hollywood could not get no kind of separation right there. I think his speed fake. I think he fake fast. Avery is 93, Hollywood is 97, and got just no separation. That boy got fake speed out there, y'all. Turn down, turn down, turn down, turn down, turn down, turn down, turn down. Turn down. That's Huntley, a quarterback, too. I just, I just remembered. That is Huntley. Sometimes I'll be thinking Huntley better than Lamar Jackson. And it's crazy to think like that, but sometimes I play better with quarterbacks that I that shouldn't be good. Like for an example, I hate Patrick Mahomes. But he's 99 overall. I hate the way they got him on this game. They got him like he's terrible on this game. He'll throw pressure and accurate. On the run, inaccurate. Um Mahomes should have slinger. If y'all see the way he throw these passes, every different angle sideways, he should be able to like, they should be able to have him throwing the ball sideways and all type of shit, like accurate. I guess they don't watch like, I guess they don't watch real football. No, did y'all see that? I done bumped him, if anything, call pass the finish. But don't let him just glitch and catch the pass. Don't throw that shit. Okay, th hey, there we go. Now he got a little separation. That right there was a little separation. The 97 speed started to come into play at the end. Good shit. Good defense. I was trying to just keep somebody over top of Marquise. 
but I mean, I guess I can just put Westry. I guess I can put Westry on him. All right, you wanted to finally quit. Now you should actually quit. You know what I'm saying? Now, and you want to continue. That's what I'm saying. You wanted to friendly quit. Why? Because I was embarrassing you. But now when they ask you, they recommend you quit and you don't quit. What sense? What sense would that make? Now is where I'm confused. All right, nigga. Cut it out. Boy didn't quit to come out here and run four verts versus man to man. Not a slant, not a, not a, not a man, not a nothing. Boy ran right into the D line right there. <laughs> this is just, that's, that's pitiful, man. To even allow him to throw that pass and even catch it, that's pitiful. That is pitiful. Um, this is about to be so much defense. Wow. I ain't seen that. I was not expecting that right there. Was not expecting. I should have passed commit. All right, so we're past committed now. Yo, somebody fucking tackle Mark Andrews. What is going on? Westry came up like he was going to tackle and just stood there and let Mark run him over. RPO with a tight end to the flat. Nope, jet sweep. Mm. Fuck is wrong with you? Let me pick the ball up, bro. We done tried 10 times to pick it up. Fuck is wrong with you trying to run some tunery with Lamar? Knock your block off. Um, Looks like his man to man shenanigans. Let's see if we can hit him with this. With this post. Ooh. Ooh. Hit him with this post. Should beat him by more than that. That's slow ass Peters. Peters, what, 91 speed? That boy Huntley, you know what's crazy? Lamar Jackson is still not in the game. That's Huntley. Lamar Jackson would have threw pressure and accurate right there. But Huntley stood there and delivered an absolute dot. But I'm telling y'all, let that would have been Lamar Jackson. Pressure and accurate. I don't know what it is, but I find the backup be playing better than the, the stars. And then it's... Two minutes left, and you want to be under center. You got to be, you better be passing the ball, too. I'm about to say, you did not throw that. Stop. <laughs> Stop. Stop. You did not throw that, sir. Stop. Cut it out. DJ, cut the beat. Boy, did not throw that. See, he double covered over there. It's crazy I still got Huntley in the game. I ain't even thought about taking him out either. Ooh, okay, that's terrible. Yeah, I threw that. Stop. Stop, Rain. <laughs> I threw that. I tried him. I tried him. I tried him. I bet he probably said the same thing. I tried him. But he been trying me a lot lately, though, so... Just sweep, oh really? Wow, who'd he trip up on? And got back up and still about score. Who'd he trip up on? That was, that was like great blocking, honestly. Stop. No, you see me right there. I know, oh shit. I know you see it. I think he'll quit at halftime, honestly. I think he'll quit. Huntley on the run, laser. 
Huntley on the run. Laser. Laser, sir. That boy, I really got Huntley at quarterback, dog. And ain't second guessing taking him out either. Ugh. Good sack. Great sack. Huntley, you tired? If so, shit, Huntley is great. Huntley say tired. Tired of what? This is my moment. This is my time I get to shine. How could I ever be tired? And I respect that about you, sir. I respect that, Huntley. So 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 show me a dot. Ooh, so show me a dot. It said out of range. But that was the best pass I've ever seen. It said out of range. Look at him. Laser. Ugh. Laser. Toe tap, toe drag, swag. I think it's safe to say that um, my scheme is better than his. I, I'm pretty sure it's safe to say that I am a better Ravens player than he is. I think it's safe to say that he's running four slants right here. Uh, three slants. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. How did you guess that, Rain? I don't know. I guess it's safe to say he's trying to throw it deep to Marquise Brown right here on the outside go route. Ah, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Rain. <laughs> uh, I guess it's safe to say that it's safe to say that it is safe to say. That it's safe to say. That I can save the day. Little ball. Ugh. What a dot, Huntley. Lamar Jackson, stay on the bench where you deserve to be at. It is a Huntley show I cheer. Oh, we hold on, press. You gonna press? You gotta at least be. This can't be man to man. It's not screaming out man to man to me for some reason. And it is. Out of bounds. We love it. That boy is 9 for 10. My only mistake is when I tried him. Oh my god. Dovernay. Talk to me on this crosser, Brody. Talk to me, Dovernay. No, he ain't gonna guard it. No, he ain't gonna guard it. Oh, my God. Huntley's the best quarterback in the league. Huntley gotta be the best QB in the league. Huntley is throwing absolute lasers. Laser, sir. Laser. Laser. I honestly don't think Lamar Jackson could have made half of these throws. <laughs> I'm just being real. Like they, they act like Lamar Jackson just cannot throw at all. I mean, he ain't the best thrower, but dude can throw. But on this game, they just act like he can't throw at all. All right, man, it's halftime. After this kickoff or time right here, he should quit. You know what I'm saying? He already tried to send a friendly quit. So this should be a quit right here. Ray, are you psychic or some shit? I feel like I'm psychic. I gotta be psychic or something. Like, I haven't talked to this dude or nothing. Like, I don't know this dude. If you get KC, I got Pittsburgh. What is he talking about? Okay. Um, pause it, man. <laughs> oh, I ain't even been. You're a sporty bum player. Pause it and I concede. Pause it, pause it, pause it, man. Oh, I haven't been. <laughs> what been begging? Please, please let me quit. This is the 85th guy in the world. 
this is this is this is this is crazy. This is this is this is really what I've been talking about earlier. This is really what I was talking about. This is really what I was talking about earlier. If somebody asks me my rank, I gotta tell them I'm ranked nine thousand in the world on Madden. But he can tell somebody he's ranked eighty five in the world, in the entire world. Score seventeen points a game, gives up sixteen. What did I? What is? Well, yo, yo, yo. Passing yards four. He's passed the ball for. <laughs> this number can't be right. He's passed the ball for one hundred and seventy six thousand yards. People have passed the ball for two million yards on him. Am I reading that right? No. No, hell no. Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Boy, I was about to... It just looks like there's an extra number in there right there, don't it? Because how that how they got it. But people people have passed about for 209,000 yards on him. Damn. You look at mine over there. 61. Oh, y'all can't see. Y'all can't see. Because my face cam was in the way. But look at it now. That shit look crazy, don't it? Passing yards for, passing yards against. I thought that said 2 million. Boy, that shit do look crazy, don't it? But uh, passing yards for and passing yards against, I just don't know, man. Who does he usually play with? Who's his main team? You can't tell me that's your record with the Ravens. Holy shit. I got to get off of this game. I got to get off. I got I got to I got to get off. Thank you guys for watching the video. Catch you next time. Peace. A black white, oh yeah, oh. Let's do this for daily sticky uploads. Follow me at YT Black Rain 4 on TikTok. For hoodies and t shirts, click the link down below in the description. Black Rain's bin. That's where you get all your gear at. For funny stories and motivational stories, follow me on Snapchat at Black Rain 4. And for the latest news on everything, follow me on Instagram at Black Rain 4. And last but not least, if you want to play anybody in Rain Gang, look down below in the description. All the information is down there that you need. You dig? You dig, you dig, you dig.